Hey, hey guys. Look what we're doing today. We're not on Minecraft. We're doing something a little bit different. Even though it kind of looks like Minecraft, I can assure you it is a completely different game. Not just because of the giant title in the middle of the screen. Q World. I talked about it in my last video. I talked about doing a Let's Play, and it's happening now. I went out of my way. I got fraps. We're going to record this, and it's going to be loads of fun. As you can see, the A in the corner right here is for uh, alpha. It's not the full release of the game yet, but it is still amazing. This is a character I already have, but we're going to make a new one because it's a let's play. For those of you who haven't seen this game at all, there's the human race, elf, dwarf, orc, goblin, lizard, undead, frogman, and human again. Um, I think I'm going to go with elf because I like the color options for the eyes. And then you could be male and female. And then you have your class, which is a warrior, a ranger. Here, yeah, let's switch it so you can see the weapon. Ranger, you got the bow and arrow. They could also use crossbows and boomerangs and these other crazy things. Mages, they use fire or water. Rogue, they use two daggers or two knuckles or a sword. And they could be an assassin or a ninja. That was my first character I'm most experienced with. Um, I was thinking about trying out Warrior, but I don't know. It would be safe to go with the Rogue again, but let's just try the Warrior to be a little bit different. Alright, let's pick some eye color. I like the blue. A haircut. Let's see. Let's get a good angle so we could decide on this. Mm -hmm. A little messy. A little spiked up. Mm -hmm. A little crazy mohawk kind of thing. Ah. Uh, Ah, ah. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, let's go with this one. I get to pick a color. Uh, oh, that looks kind of cool. Maybe a little bit darker. Now let's go with this one. And now we get to name him. I'm going to name him Lazy Waffles. Oh, Lazy Waffle? Ah, uh, okay, fine. We'll be Lazy Waffle. Singular. And, although that does say LP, I've already explored in that world, so let's make it a different one. The seed could be any number, but it has to be a number. So, let's go with... Da-da-da-da-da. Uh, how long is that? Oh, okay. What's is that? Uh, is that a three in there? A seven? Why not a six? All right. The name shall be Let's Play. Let's load this up. Oh, I'm so excited. This game is infinitely generated in the land, and there's quite a few bugs in it, but that's to be expected because it's still an alpha. Uh, there's a cat right there. We can have pets in this game. And it's not like Minecraft how you go and cut down trees. This is more of an exploring and killing things to level up kind of game. Right here is a mushroom, something you use for food. Pick those up. And because we're a warrior, Oh, oh, you can break it down and do different attacks. Okay, okay. This is new to me. Oh, there's there's guys over here. Are these good guys or bad guys? Oh, these are bad guys. Alright, this is going to be our first battle. Let's see how we do. And it's against a group of them. Maybe I can just get one of them. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Got them all, got them all. Dodge, dodge. Oh, 
how you're friendly. Uh, these are the little heart flowers you need to make potions. We already have five of the potions right now. Hey there. <laughs> My climbing skill is 285. Probably the best climber in Q world. It's very unlikely, but I do like your hair. Okay, so here's what the map looks like. All these things in the distance are randomly generated structures that we can go to. And this is a village, which is where we do a, a lot of main things like quests and such. So we're gonna go there first. A Scottish Terrier. Alright, so I'm still making my way over to the village. And I've been kind of messing with the attacks. And you can hold both of them down and they'll both do attacks, but I'm... I really don't like the slow attacking. I want to look at the skills right now. I'll see what we get. Let's see, smash, jump, smash, spin around, or frenzy. See, I'm, I want to be more of the fast attacker kind of character. And I know we just started, but I think I've gotten too used to the rogue to convert at this time to a slower attacking character. So I think I'm going to recreate this lazy waffle as a rogue. We're at zero experience, so we haven't really accomplished anything. So I'm going to be right back. All right, we have our rogue now. Our another random seed that I typed in. We're still naming it Let's Play, very obvious. All right. Take two. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we do. And take it. Oh! What? What is this? No! 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 Bad guy! Bad guy! Oh my god! We can't handle this right at the start. We're still rendering things. Look at that mountain. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Hey, stop it. Guys. This is not cool. Guys, guys. Climb, 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 climb. That guy is so high leveled, we can't handle that right now. Onto the tree. Onto the ground. Onto another tree. Onto this tree. Make it! Parkour. He should stop chasing us. Ah. Uh, okay. That was a rough start. Um, let's see where we are on the map. Okay, we got a village right here. So I guess I'll go through the controls. Uh, M is for the map. And it's just like playing Minecraft on the computer. WASD for the controls. You got Q down there for your little quick selection. It's usually a potion. Or something that'll give you health. Find random things like this, a bush around the world. They give you uh, wood and plant fiber. I'm not sure what the plant fiber is for, but you can use the wood for certain crafting. This is a cotton plant. We need that as a rogue to make uh, armor. Ooh. Ooh. Our first battle. Our real first battle, not one that sneaks up on us. guys draw some little radish like rah, 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 radish slices and we can use those for other food you need heart flowers for most of the potions like this you can only hold 50 of one thing oh here it is all these pineapples we can use for pineapple slices they're not that great a food source but we're level one so anything is good for us 
the day night cycle in this game is what? Mage, that's fire that he is trying to shoot at us. It's a very hostile world. Keeps you on your toes, I like it. Uh, yeah, the day night cycle in this game is two hours for day and two hours for night. And you can reset it today by going to one of the inns and talking to. What was that? Who's fighting? You fighting? Ah, oh, that's a horse. I hear, I hear bad things. Okay, focusing. So there's different districts in the cities, and we're going to go to the adventure district. And we're going to check out anything that we can do. Random people in the towns will give you. Uh, quests that you can do, and um, I don't even think you have to go, like, you don't have to come back to the person to complete it, I don't think, I think they just tell you where to go, and you can just go there. Okay, so this person, are you, you're for warrior? I'm saving money to buy a bow. Cool. You look like the road. This is the road. Oh, well. So that's our job person if we want to switch from being an assassin to a ninja. But we can switch it right now because we're not uh, any level yet. We don't have any skill points to use. Let's see, the, here's all the people. There's pets randomly everywhere. Now we're in the trade district, so you have little shops like this. If they have little signs, then they're selling whatever that is. Okay, so they gave us default weapons to start off with. Now, I normally use two daggers, but I might try to use the long sword. We'll keep it for now. I don't really want to try using the iron fist, so we're going to sell these for some money right away. And, ooh, she's selling an iron lamp that is better than this iron lamp because it's green. So you just right click it to buy it, and then we could take this one, put that over there. I just sold it. Give me that back. Okay. Don't right click it. Right click that one to sell it. Now, there's boats and there's hang gliders. We get those later and they cost silver, which we do not have yet. Mm -hmm. Now each randomly generated world, like the villages sell different things. Like in my old world, I just had the normal lamp. I didn't have this green lamp and the higher lamps glow brighter. So that's good. Uh, we're gonna buy a bunch of glass flasks for potions. What else do we have? Bunch of stuff that we picked up along the way. Now our weapon is fine right now, so there's no point in going to the weapon shop. So I guess for right now, we want to be able to remember where this area is, but we don't need to stay here. So we can just go out and adventure into everything that wants to kill us. And there's a lot of things that want to kill us. What's really cool about this game is they have random bosses that just spawn in the world. And you know that they're a boss because they're abnormally bigger than everything else and they have like a pinkish purple aura around them. Oh, okay, here's a well. So you take your glass flasks that you just bought, hop in here. You don't have to hop in there, but it's water. You press C to bring up your crafting, water flask, and then this button will be available and you can craft them. Now we don't have a lot of heart flowers, so there's no point in crafting all of these. So we're just gonna leave that area. But oh, okay. Now we can craft two life potions because we had two heart flowers, and we still have five bottles available, so we can also make those. This is our armor that we can make, but we need twenty cotton for it, and we go to the town to make that. So let's just venture off and let's see if we can find anything hostile. 
Oh, uh, that's not exactly what I wanted to find right away. All right, if you saw the weapon on my back of the warrior that I made, it's it's exactly that, except that's like 10 times bigger and it's on the back of an ogre that wants to eat us for breakfast. Which is make him, I don't want to make him mad, but when his name is red, that basically means you don't stand a chance. And because I'm level one, I know we don't stand a chance. So instead of dying right away, we're just gonna punch him and run. Oh, it looks like a giant fish. Oh, oh, he wants us now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we don't want. Look at this guy, he's crazy. I see some heart flowers, gotta get those. Look at that mountain, that mountain is intense. I really like the rendering in this game. But I don't like the frame rate drop, that was very bad. It does that randomly. I still haven't figured out how to lower the usage on the graphics card, so I'm really pushing my luck by recording it now. But I just can't get enough of this game. Oh well. A bumblebee? Alright, we could fight a bumblebee, right? Fifty for the first level, but I think right on level two we start getting a hundred. Ooh, that's red. I don't want to deal with that. Ooh, a witch. I don't think we can deal with that either. Uh, this gives you cobweb, and I don't think we need cobweb, so there's no need to clutter the inventory. Let's look at the map. Let's just whoa. Let's see where we are. Now these mountains usually have caves in them. And you can find iron, gold, and emeralds in there, and they have, um, you can put them on your weapons and make armor depending on if you're a warrior or not. And you can put them, it, when you put them on your weapon, uh, you can put it anywhere on there, and you can shape it how you want, and you can make them look pretty cool. Oh, beetles, we could totally fight these. Need those for food. Oh, oh. Ah. Uh, as long as you don't. I think they shoot. Maybe. If you shoot at me, I don't like you anymore. Yep, yep, I, I hate you. Those were not the beetles I was hoping for. I was hoping for the ones that just go up to you and they're all close range. Oh, I need that. Ah. Uh, uh, these are random campsites that you can find. They, uh, if you sleep on the bed, it makes time. Oh, hey, buddy, help. Now, anybody who is friendly will help you. Oh, now, he, he died for us. He died to try to save us. I don't even think we can save us. No! Run, 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 run. What's that? I saw some A chicken! We could fight a chicken, right? As long as there's nothing chasing us. He is still chasing us. I'll find something else to fight. I don't need this. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's fighting the chicken. Oh, that's cruel and unusual. That chicken doesn't stand a chance. Oh yeah, you see the tent up there? Wow, the bed spawned at the bottom of that hill. Cotton, I need you. Oh, uh, you hold control to climb things. I don't know if I that. Can I find things my level to fight? Thank you very much. Oh, this guy. 
He's a mage. We're gonna fight him. Yeah. Got knocked out. Aha. Ah, he dropped a staff that is completely useless to. Is that the same ogre? Am I, are we circling? Oh, oh, we kind of are. Okay, so that's probably the same ogre. We want to try to avoid him. And so when you go to sleep, you just kind of face down. Don't care at all, and your health goes up pretty fast. So that's nice. I think that might be it for this episode. I'm going to check how long I've been recording. Be right back. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We got plenty of time. So let's keep exploring. The terrain generation in this game is very nice. You get these intense mountains. You get this village on top of the hill. Is this the same village? Do we just loop around? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's go this way. Now, I hope something that they do implement is if you find random people around, much like a pet, if you could, like, pay them to fight with you for a certain amount of time, that'd be cool. Because I find myself in situations very, uh, frequently that require me to do things that are very unlikely to, uh, help me succeed in because I'm alone. Like fighting three things at once. drop anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Waiting, waiting. Ah, I got it. Whoa. That was him. That was him. I got this. Oh yeah. Now we're fighting things around our level that we can manage. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can find a cave somewhere around here. Oh, I hear somebody's skills going. Who's charging? No, no one? I heard you guys, I know you're here. Apparently there's a lot of different biomes in this game, you just have to explore to find them. Like they have a snowy biome where you can find uh, penguins that you can make your pets. There's a bunch of different pets you can get, but you have to get a certain type of food to tame them. Which is part of the fun. Is that a cat or is that a wolf? I think it's a cat. A dog. Yeah, just random animals everywhere. So it's kind of a surprise every time you find them. And some animals that are hostile sometimes aren't. Where's this battle? It sounds really close. Oh. Hey girl. You kicking butt over here? Yep. Now there's a bumblebee right here. Let's go take this guy. Oh, yeah, let's go take this guy on. Fight some of the passive mobs if you want to, uh, but they won't attack you until you attack them, kind of thing. Another ogre. I feel like this world is going to get very hostile. Like a bunny. We can fight the bunny, but wait, who wants? Oh, ooh, what are these? These 
look like big, bad things that I shouldn't mess with. A skull bolt. Yeah, I'm not. Nope. Mm -mm. We got an ogre over here. We got bad things on both sides. Ah. Okay. Okay. I see some guys up there. They look slightly smaller, so we could probably take them on. Two hard flowers next to each other. Yes. potions so we don't run out and die. Oh, there's two more of them. We could barely handle one with potions. Handling two is signing my own death sentence. Kitty cat. What is this? I think that's a bunny again. Yeah. I don't want to fight the bunny. But I'm going to. friends? We're friends. That's 
fight more beetles. Beetles are good. Undead. Oh, it's a zombie helmet. Oh, there's two of them. Ooh, we're at a place that's known as a lake. Now, if it's blue letters, I think that means that we we are guaranteed to have a chance, but we can still die. What is, what is this red thing over here? A spitter. I've never seen a spitter before. I want to touch it. And a wizard. Ooh. Oh, he's coming at us. Wow. type people that look like characters that we can make. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! They're mage monsters! I don't like that. Type person will draw money, and money is what. Is that a crab? I pardon the cat that is making noise while I record. Ugh. Okay, I don't want to fight everything at once here. Let's just try to get this crab. Okay, everything wants to fight. Be that way. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, we love all. Not out of this yet, though. The good thing about leveling is it boosted our health up. So now that we're leveled, we get two skill points. Let's see, this is an attacking skill, so we want to put at least one point into that. Uh, this is for pets, we don't have a pet. Climbing, swimming. Uh, let's put one for climbing, because you never know when you're going to need to climb away from battle. Okay, so let's test this new skill out. All the skills go in the numbers. I don't know if you can change that, but that's just how they are by default. So. Oh, that skill is awesome! Let it happen. Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. We leveled. That is a crab climbing up a mountain. That's intense. I hear footsteps. Oh, oh he wants it. He wants it. Ah! He didn't know what he wanted, but he got it. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.